On the 14th of April, 1912, at 11.40 p.m., the RMS Titanic struck an iceberg, tearing open nearly 300 feet of hull below the waterline. Titanic had sailed four days earlier on her maiden voyage from Southampton, England. She stopped in France and Ireland before heading across the North Atlantic to New York City. There is a great deal of controversy about what happened and why. Certainly, human error and judgment are prominent. If you were simply filming a demonstration of a model ship sinking, would you think of making provisions for handling the camera boat so the wind wouldn't blow it around, causing the camera's view to be blocked by people? There was no moon that night. The freezing sea was dead calm. Titanic was making 21 knots, near its maximum speed. Radio reports from other ships of icebergs in Titanic's path never reached the bridge. The radio operators were busy with passenger messages to and from shore. As the bilge pumps vainly tried to clear the flooding hull, the lights of another ship could be seen in the distance, but she never responded to the wireless distress calls, nor the Morse lamp, not even the distress rockets. By 12.45 a.m., the first lifeboat entered the water. Survivors said that as the ship was flooding, the ship's band played songs. The one they remember was, Near My God to Thee. 2.05 a.m., the bow was completely submerged. 2.10 a.m., the stern rose out of the water. 2.18 a.m., the lights went out as the ship's power failed just before the ship split in two. Some people in the lifeboats momentarily hoped that the stern would stay afloat as it tilted to the left and rotated, but it was quickly pulled down. At 2.20 a.m. on the 15th of April, in the year of our Lord, 1912, the RMS Titanic sank to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Of the more than 2,200 people on board, over 1,500 souls were lost. The lifeboats could hold almost 1,200 people, but just over 700 survived. <laughs>